now we are going to take example number 2 of practice set 3.1 Practice set 3.1 example number 2 In the figure O is a, the center of the circle from point R Segment RM and segment RN both are tangent segments of touching the circle at M and N point If OR is equal to 10 cm and radius of the circle is given 5 cm then we have to find what is the length of each tangent segment so see first of all in the solution we have given distance OR is equal to 10 cm and R radius of a circle is given 5 cm if we consider a triangle OMR it is a right angle triangle okay because M is a 90 degree then using Pythagoras theorem this formula is hypotenuse square is equal to adjacent first side square plus adjacent second side square so hypotenuse hypotenuse is the or then or square is equal to om square plus mr square then or is 10 10 square 100 om is 5 om is radius of circle and 5 square is 25 mr square as it is this plus 25 goes to another side minus then it will be 100 minus 25 75 mr square taking square root both side if mr square and square root square square root get cancel is equal to under root 75 so we can simplify the 75 as a 25 3 is a 75 and 25 square root is 5 and remain under root 3 as it is so in the figure we have given uh, like a tangent theorem exterior from exterior point two tangents are touched to a circle then those tangent are equal to each other then mr is equal to nr then mr is equal to nr then their value is 5 under root 3 by outer tangent theorem okay so next question we have to see Question number 2 What is the measure of angle MRO? So angle MRO Then C We have to write solution of question number 2 We have to find angle MRO Then C Everybody learn the Pythagoras theorem If you learn it very well and be careful then it also you can understand easily see in the figure m r o it is a angle then m r o it is also right angle triangle in right angle triangle there are two types of properties otherwise we have learned the trigonometric ratios also in trigonometric ratio there are sine cos tan correct we have to find the m r o this angle we have given two values so this angle opposite side is o m and this angle adjacent side is 10 cm as well as 10 is a hypotenuse so if we use here sin ratio then what was the ratio of sine sine theta if we consider the angle is theta then sine theta is equal to opposite side upon hypotenuse so sin theta theta's angles opposite side is the 5 so we can write here 5 and hypotenuse of this triangle is 10 and we can write here 10 and then 5 on the 5 5 to the 10 the value of 1 upon then sin theta is equal to 1 upon 2 then we know in trigonometric ratios very well correct what are the values so there are like a sin 0 degree is 0 and sin next degree is 30 degree so 
do you know how to find we have learned by the finger also there is a formula ये आपको सबको याद है हमने स्कूल में लर्न किया जीरो डिग्री थर्टी डिग्री फोर्टी फाइव डिग्री सिक्सटी डिग्री एंड नाइन्टी डिग्री और हम साइन को इधर से काउंट करते हैं तो हमें साइन का ही चेक करना है तो जिसकी वैल्यू जिस डिग्री की वैल्यू हाफ आएगी वो साइन पीटे की वैल्यू रहेगी तो देखिए अभी पहली वैल्यू तो ज़ीरो ही आएगी दूसरी वैल्यू कितने फिंगर काउंट किए वन फिंगर हमारा फार्मूला क्या है अंडर रूट ऑफ फॉर्म टू जितने फिंगर हम काउंट करते हैं वो कहाँ लिखते हैं अंडर रूट में तो अंडर रूट में काउंट किए फिंगर वन वन का स्क्वायर रूट वन तो वन ऑफ फॉर्म टू इट्स मीनिंग साइन थीटा इज थर्टी डिग्री देन एंगल एम आर ओ इज इक्वल टू थर्टी डिग्री एंड इफ एंगल एम आर ओ इज थर्टी डिग्री देन Another triangle O N R. Those both triangles are similar to each other. We have seen in last theorem. So now see, if both triangles are similar, then their angles also similar. Then it is also 30 degrees. Then angle M R O is equal to angle N R O. Last question is there. What is the measure of angle M R N? M R N is total angle. So, if we want to find the total angle, the sum of both angle, then third M R N is equal to angle M R O plus angle N R O, and then M R O is 30 degree plus N R O also 30 degree. An angle of our end is 60 degrees. Like this, it is second question solution is complete. If you want to take it screenshot for your reference, you can take. एग्जाम्पल नंबर थर्ड डायग्राम ऑल्सो सेम बट क्वेश्चन इज सम डिफरेंट सेगमेंट आर एम एंड सेगमेंट आर एन आर टेंजेंट सेगमेंट्स करेक्ट ऑफ अ सर्कल विथ सेंटर ओ प्रू दैट सेगमेंट ओ आर ओ आर सेगमेंट बायसेकट एंगल एम आर एन एज वेल एज एम ओ एन सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वाइल राइटिंग द सोल्यूशन what we have given a circle with center o and what we have given okay for that what we have to prove hame prove ye karna hai कि सेगमेंट ओ आर बाइसेकट एंगल एम आर एन एंड एंगल एम ओ एन और यू नो वेरी वेल एंगल बाइसेकट एंगल बाइसेकट हम बहुत दिनों से सीख रहे हैं हमें मालूम भी है कि एंगल बाइसेकट मतलब क्या होता है विच सेगमेंट बायसेकट एनी एंगल इन इक्वल टू पार्ट्स इट इज नोन एज एंगल बायसेकट सो लेट सी विद द हेल्प ऑफ अबो डायग्राम वी विल प्रू इट तो देखिए जैसे कि अभी सभी को मालूम है कांग्रेस ऑफ ट्राइंगल में हमने लर्न किया है या सिमिलरिटी में लर्न किया है कि दो ट्राइंगल को कांग्रेस किस तरीके से दिखाई जाता है अभी यहाँ पे दो ट्राइंगल कौन कौन से ओ एम आर एंड ओ एन आर so if we consider to prove consider triangle om r and triangle om 
and do you know very well statement and reason how to write so if we write here statements and here reasons so now see first statement what is the first statement you can see here or is a common segment between both yes we can write first of all or is congruence to or and it is a common side after that do you know very well if a tangent and radius intersect to each other at a point then they make to each other in right angle so here angle m is 90 degree and angle n also 90 degree then we can write angle o m r is equal to our congruence angle o n r why because both are right angle after that what is the equal between both o m is a radius of circle and o n also radius of circle so we can write o m is congruence to o n then why it is it is a radius of circle that's why both are equal to each now three statement are two by which test the both triangle are equal to each other triangle o m r similar to triangle o n r by which test side angle side side angle side test and do you know very well if two triangles are equal then their all angles and all sides are equal then now see in both triangle o m r o m r it is one triangle o n r it is another triangle then o m r triangle has n is m is 90 degree n also 90 degree or is same so o m and o r o n and o r if joining angle these angle are also congruence to each other then we can write angle m o r is congruence to angle n o r what will be is corresponding angle of congruence triangle r equal after that angle m o m r o and angle n r o this angle also equal to each other then we can write angle m r o is congruence to angle n r o these are so corresponding angle of congruence triangle then c if those angle are equal to each other its meaning they bisected by this segment or its meaning or segment is always bisect the angle of exterior to tangents so we can write here if both angle are equal then those are bisected by the segment or segment or bisected angle m r n and angle m o r understood if you want to take it screenshot you can take it. last example of this practice set what is the distance between two parallel tangents of a circle radius 4.5 cm just for your answer parallel two tangents two tangents are parallel and we have learned its theorem also parallel tangents theorem okay so then see in solution we haven't given diagram in the question so we have to construct a diagram so first of all a circle its center point suppose we consider o it is its radius how much we have given 4.5 this much we have given 
and we have to find the distance between two parallel tangents suppose tangent means which line intersect to a circle at a point it is known as tangent suppose it is a p q it is a a b a b and p q there are two tangents and those are parallel to each other parallel means they does not intersect to each other at any point as well as their distance between each point is equal then now see if we join from o to this point suppose it is t and it is s so o to t is it is also radius and o to s also radius then if we do the sum of both radius then it is distance between two parallel sides so how should we write it so first of all radius of circle we have given 4.5 cm then now construct two tangent segment from point t and s okay then segment sorry tangent ab is parallel to tangent pq by tangent theorem because why those are parallel to each other see if those if tangent and radius intersect to each other then they are intersect to right angle then they are also like this so parallel lines interior angle sum is also 180 degree and these both angle also 180 degree and then those are perpendicular to each other and that's why it is a these are parallel segments then we can write the distance between two parallel tangent segment is length ts but length ts is equal to length to plus length os then length to is 4.5 cm plus os also 4.5 because both are radius of a circle then length ts is equal to 9 cm and it is the distance between two parallel tangents segment understood take it also a screenshot for you for the reference and if you have any doubt student you can ask me you can call me always